what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel at Peace and Makeover. Today I'm joined by the perseverance guys. We're gonna be checking out why Muslim women wear hijab, why Muslim men keep beards, um Bridging Gabriel versus Muti Mek. Very funny. Um I feel it's weird to ask why Muslim men keep beards because a lot of people keep their beards. No, Muslim people keep their beard more. Really? Yeah. Most Muslims like beard and have you seen those um shakes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I just more. Oh, because I keep a lot of beards. Mm. Oh. I I never thought of that in this way, but okay. Then this is gonna be so interesting. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. Start. <laughs> All right. When you see the hijab at the at the uh, women's march and all that, it, and knowing what you came from, it must absolutely enrage you. Oh, it, it's very sad. It saddens me because when I see what the American public is trying to sell our daughters and our future generations as acceptable without recognizing the ramification of it, because mm -hmm. Americans are not seeing the ramification. When you start seeing hijab popping into a community, that's a sign of radicalization. That's not a sign of progressiveness. It's a sign of going mm -hmm. backward. That's actually the first sign of a radicalization of a community because that means they're becoming more devout, more following uh, the Quran to the letter, oppressing women. A woman in a hijab means you are shameful to look at, you are dirty to look at, therefore you need to be covered because you are a walking sin. So That's if I am tempted to look at you or to rape you, you made me rape you because you made me see your ankle because it flashed a little bit under the hijab and therefore you deserve to be raped or you deserve to be beaten or you deserve to be abused. What message are we sending our daughters? Yeah. I, I can't... Uh, one side of you, I get her. Huh? It's not true in a certain way, but I feel some Muslim men yeah, from that the any part, own, I kind of understand that, what she saying. That is saying. our own um, objective or opinion. Some people feel like, as a woman, uh, as a Muslim woman, you shouldn't allow men to see some part of you. Yes. So if they rape you, it's because of because, your Yes, yeah, because action. you let your body be exposed. It, logically, it shouldn't be so. Definitely. Islamically, according to the Quran, it shouldn't be so. But some Muslims do that. Mm. In a way of when they see your body being exposed, or they raped you, they'll be, so like, they be like, it's your own fault of you allowing such things to happen. That's that is, nice that is her own point of view. That's what she was saying because she felt like oh. so. Women have talked about that before, yeah. and she's been she's displaying it for people to hear. About. They make you, but, but people won't understand her point of view. I yet. kind of understand this better now. Uh huh. That was what exactly what she was talking about. But according to the Quran, it's not like that. Yeah. 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 So they are trying to people who are wearing um the ladies who are covering their hair they're trying it. to um display the art of like modesty modesty also behave like Mary you know those times that is yeah. how they normally dress covering everywhere mm. so that is it let's keep watching guys according to Islam the God recommended hijab for those women who are modest and pious at heart so that the people in the society know them as modest and pious hijab is a sign of modesty and piousness which dictates that women with hijab do not enjoy displaying their beauty to all, and they do not want to be known to all as hot and sexy. They are not open for flirting or axing out for a date. Their beauty, charm, appealingness, etc. are preserved for their selected special one. It is a lifestyle, and believing women feel dignified in hijab as it empowers them, gives them authority and control over the viewership of their beauty. And women who follow this lifestyle feels insulted, disrespected, and undignified when their hijab is questioned. Hijab cannot be imposed on anyone, because if hijab is forced or imposed on anyone, then that hijab will be deceptive and hypocritical. 
and that person may end up doing things which may bring shame on this holy dress code. Hijab has to come from within, with integrity and understanding. And the God knows what people have in their heart. If someone is not modest and pious inside, their hijab of outside is meaningless. True. You see, one day, I was invited to a Christian school to speak, and it was a girl's school. So I went to speak to them, and the first question they told me is, why do you have a beard? Why do you have a beard? So I said, what do you mean? They said, no, these are Talibans. <laughs> Talibans. So Allah put it in my mind. This was a pure Christian school. You know, they had uh, idols <coughs> that they have, little pictures and portraits and so on. I, I said, you know, yeah. to be very honest with you, we follow the prophets. And you know, I don't want to use the Prophet Muhammad's example because you don't believe in him. We are talking now to Christians. But I want to tell you, when I walk in the streets of Harare, Harare is the capital of Zimbabwe, where I come from. When I walk in the streets of Harare, the small boys, they say, Jesu. You know what is Jesu? Jesus. Says, there is Jesus walking. Mm. But when they see your priest, they don't say that. Mm -hmm. Are you following what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. When they see your priest, they don't say, there is Jesus walking. I say, but why? The reason is, we follow Jesus as well. I did not see Jesus without a beard. Anyway, I saw him with robe. And you drew the picture. I don't even believe that that is the proper picture because we are not allowed to make those pictures. But you drew the picture. According to your picture, I, am, I have got a beard. I look closer to him than any one of you. So they were quiet. So one other girl thought she was clever. So she said, but what about your women? Why are they also covered? You cover them. You know, this question comes up all the time. So I said, because we follow the mother Mary. Finished. <laughs> closed. <laughs> Topic closed. Topic closed. Our women are closer dressed to what Christianity teaches than the Christians themselves. We are purer in Christianity than the Christians themselves. Because look at the dress code. Very strong. I totally don't accept that. Don't you are more purer in Christianity than Christianity ourselves? So. You are not a Christian. Yeah, you don't actually know what Christianity actually stands for. Christianity stands for you accepting the death and resurrection of Jesus, of Jesus Christ. Christ and also following according to his ways it also means preached. believing so that Jesus Christ you, died and resurrected you don't use the word modesty to display Christianity because there was um, the halot in the bible yeah. which Jesus saved from, from being stoned. stoned to death yeah then he said if so anyone is more righteous, righteous or if you have not committed any sin she be the first her. to cast the stone so you don't see you are more Christian than we Christian ourselves that is a wrong statement to say and I totally disagree with that. Look at the morals, look at the conducts, look at how strictly we follow the Ten Commandments, look at how we would like to, you know, stop certain things from happening and so on. And every little while they find it creeping in. The church sometimes will allow homosexuality, they will allow, it changes. They change it in order to get more people to follow. Okay, let me get to that point. We align homosexuality. That does not mean Christian allow homosexuality. Our Bible never teaches us to chase away anyone, irrespective of your kind, your country, your color, you are all accepted. Because when we accept you, with time, you change. It's just like he's saying, um, if your child goes out and do something <coughs> bad, you should cast them out. No. When you beat a child with one hand, you bring them forward with the other, other hand. hand, you teach them. So, because you are saying, we Christian you are saying I'm homosexual in, in the church that does not mean we promote or we support that we are trying it's like and we're trying to bring them closer to, to God so they know the truth so they will know the truth and know what the acts that they are committing is sinful and is not acceptable by us by God we Christians don't accept that but we won't chase you away because Christ never chased anyone away. At all. So he we are displaying the, the Christ like in us. That's why we are Christians. Like they say, woman who are doing um, the halot. Yeah. Christ never chased her away because she's an halot. He didn't. He brought her closer. So because we are accepting people who are homosexuals to the house of God, does not, does not mean we support that action. As a Christian, 
I'm 100 percent and I, I hate homosexuality I detest it this LGBT I detest it but if I see someone who is passing through such situation I won't chase you away because I feel like you don't know what you are doing you have to be enlightened so he got that wrong by saying by saying we promote it so there are some certain words he's using which is totally wrong yeah so let's keep watching guys we'll see more about it with us even if no one is following the dean will remain and still there will be people who will follow so let us remember when you want to think of answers and when you have discussed you will have the answers now to cover yourself how can that be oppression because today I am covered. If in 50 years from now, they might tell the men that if you don't move with shorts, you are oppressed, then what are we going to do? All of us are going to move in shorts. Allahu Akbar. You, can you imagine myself and everyone else here sitting here in shorts, one short only like this? They say, no, if you don't wear shorts, you are oppressed. So the sisters who are seated here, some of them are fully covered, some of them have their faces open. Nobody has forced them to do that. It is their own will. They are Muslim. They are surrendering to Allah. So we believe that in the same way, you see, sometimes people say it is oppression to cover. Why are you covering? I have had questions regarding my own family where people say, why do you force your family to cover? And I tell them, you ask them, did I force them? I didn't force them. No, no, it's oppression. So I'm oppressed. You know, yesterday I was in Colombo. And I gave this example and I want to give it to you. It's a very good example. I was one day sitting in an aircraft a few years ago. There was a man who sat next to me. And he looked at me. He doesn't know me. He doesn't know anything about me. And he told me, you people oppress your, your, your women. To start with, no hello, no how are you, no good morning, nothing. <laughs> you people oppress your women. So I looked at him and I said, Ya Allah, what should I tell this man? He wants to fight. You see, he wants to fight. He wants to argue and debate. So I can't talk to him on normal terms because he didn't talk to me on normal terms. So he was with his wallet looking at something. You know the wallet where the money is? He was looking at something. So I looked at him. I said, you are oppressing your money. <laughs> <laughs> he told me, what do you mean? I said, the same thing you mean that we oppress our women. So he said, why? I said, because you are covering your money. <laughs> your money is covered. Everything is covered inside there. Can you see? He said, no, but this is because it's money. It's valuable. I said, our women are also valuable. <laughs> they are valuable. So sometimes when you talk to someone who is foolish, you need to give them a foolish answer also. <laughs> foolish. They don't understand. Then he was quiet. He just did. <laughs> and he was quiet. He didn't. There was no other answer. So the thing is, we believe and you know if you study you will find today divorce is very high across the globe and today answer. problems have increased marital problem today people are interested may allah protect us we are in a muslim country we are happy and we are we thank allah but some other places in the world men are interested in men and women are interested in women you know what i'm talking about now in some countries some of the most developed countries i was reading an article recently there are some people fighting Listen to how people are taking hum not only religion away from us, but they are taking our brain away from us. There are some people in developed countries who are fighting sure. to say we are free to marry our dogs. Wallahi. Wallahi. They are saying, why is it if, if, you are, if a man is free to marry a man, why can't a man and a woman be free to marry the dog? What is wrong? We are free. Do what you want. They are fighting it. That is how the issue of homosexuality started many, many years ago in the same way where people said we are free, we are free until they convinced some people that we are free and they started. So now they started the other ball rolling. Very soon they will allow it. Astaghfirullah. May Allah protect us. So if you take a look at the Islamic ruling of covering, when a person, when there are women all over who are not covered, you have some, they might be more beautiful than others, and you have some, you know, maybe their character is not good. And so they're all different types. Like if you have a motor vehicle, say for example, you have your motorbike. I notice, mashallah, here most people have motorbike. When you have buy a motorbike and you are riding it, you are very happy because it's brand new, isn't it? But after some time you saw another motorbike, you say, oh, that one is better. I will get that one, inshallah. And then, and then you continue. After some time you change your motorbike, you get a better motorbike because you saw it. 
if you did not see that other motorbike, forever you were going to believe yours is the best. Wallahi. Look, you have a phone. If you have iPhone 4S, it's the latest, isn't it? So if you have iPhone 4S, you are very happy, you are excited, you keep in your pocket, you know, you talk. There is a, something called Siri, you talk and you see and how it works and everything. You are very excited. But when you see iPhone 5, you, you say, oh, now mine is not latest. <laughs> but if you did not see iPhone 5, up to when you die, your iPhone 4S is the best. Do you agree with me? Yeah. There you are. So Islam says... Your wife, when you got married, you are so happy. She's your bride. You had big function. You had such a nice... Okay, for that, <coughs> you're using um, the woman. I'm using the word um, iPhone 4X as an example. It's, it's true. When you have an uh, iPhone 4X and you see it as your next marriage better, um, you want to see it as treasure and stuff like that. But the wrong thing about it is we human beings man per se we always want more True. irrespective of you not seeing another person another woman in a very seductive way yeah you will still want more just seeing her face and she's looking pretty Beautiful. i be like wow even if she's covered you feel like you are kind of like who is this person you're curious you want to get to know the person some people straight away they want to marry the person yeah by your attitude also, that's so, another point. Irrespective of you seeing the person nakedness or not, as a man, you still want to marry the person, and you still feel like, oh, this person's attitude is kind of like different from my wife's one. Yeah. And you prefer it. That's true. You get. Yeah, I get. So the iPhone X is using as an example. I feel like it's he's making sense, but yeah, it's not a sense. valid point itself for me, and. Modesty itself is not just about covering yourself to show that you are modest. You understand? I understand. So it's not just about being fully covered. Is your heart? Co is your heart? Yeah, there are a lot sure. of people that do a it's, lot of bad things. Yeah, and even being covered. Covered. Some people are, are wicked. Very wicked. Yes. And they're acting like, like saints. So in respect of you covering your from top to down. Does not mean you are perfect. Does not mean you are a saint. Does not mean you will make heaven. So that is something you have to know. Um, be you should hit the point, the knee at the head. Yeah. You get. So, modest dressing is good, but that does not mean it's your ticket to heaven. True. You get me. Yeah. So let's keep watching that. He's making so many for points. So many meaningful points. But there are some things he have. We have to talk about let me use yeah definitely. we have to talk about for people to know place father of the bride came you came everyone came so when she is yours you lower your gaze you did not see another model so you are very happy until the day you die you think this is your best finished subhanallah but when you are looking here looking there and they are exposed someone shows you hand someone shows you leg what happens your model now you are not happy anymore so divorce i want another one you see and this is why it's happening on the globe. So Allah says, put nice clothing so your beauty is covered, so it is appreciated. Other men, they will, they will look down, women must look down. And the issue of lowering gaze is not only for women, both for women and for men. L lower your gaze. You don't have to stare someone, look them up, down, up, down. No. In Islam, we don't do that. So people say, no, you are free. Wallahi, now. There are laws which in some countries they are saying when you stay at someone, it can be called sexual harassment. So they want to jail you for looking. They want to jail you for looking. Islam from long has told us that be respectful. What is wrong? Now they are telling us, no, Islam is barbaric. How can they say that you are not allowed to look? But themselves they are saying that if you're looking at me too much, you are being very, very, uh, you, you know, you are being abusive. Sexual abuse, may Allah protect us. So we need to know the issue of dress code. We can answer them with logic, not with religion. Put religion on one side. We talk with logic to say, look, if you have someone, like I said a few days ago also in one of my talks, that you see the hair of a woman, when, when no woman's hair is showing, when someone gets married, that hair is so valuable, it attracts him, he looks at it, he appreciates it, he, and so on. But 
When everyone is hair is open, one uses head and shoulders, the other one used pantene, the other one used this, you know, uh, palm olive, and someone used different thing. One hair is flying this side, one hair is flying that side. So what you have, you can't appreciate it because if you see your wife's hair, you say, no man, but that other one I saw was better than this. So you're not happy. So the best solution is just cover yourself. And the best solution is lower your gaze. And this is why we believe firmly you need to work hard to be happy with what you have. Islam teaches us contentment. Be happy with what you have because wallahi if you are not happy with what you have, your race will only end when you die. You will keep on running. Someone for example, they have a nice cell phone, a mobile phone. It's okay. Every time latest one comes, you want it, you want it, you want it. You want. When will it stop? When you die, it stops. You see? If you follow what is latest, but if you have this phone, it is fulfilling your purpose. You need it maybe for email, for SMS, you need it for this, for that. Whatever your purpose is, it is fulfilling, stay with it. When you need to change, because it is something material, when you need to change it for some reason, if you can afford it, then you change. Many people, they live beyond their financial means. Why? Because they want to follow what they see in the television. Oh, I need that phone. I, if there were no adverts today, we would all be very happy, more happy than what we are. Because an advert, what does it do to you? It shows you something which you don't have. For the disadvantage of it, we might be more happy than how we are, but since we grew, as is going on. Definitely. You understand? Add, make things happen. It does. Because there are some things you actually need that you need add to make to make it, uh, make you aware of it. Aware of it. And... It helps boost people's business. Definitely. It helps renovate in several ways. It makes people be like, wow, this car is nice. This ad I saw, yay. This car is also way better than this. Should mm -hmm. I pick this over this? Or it's like you using a, a normal car that runs on petrol. And petrol is becoming very expensive these yeah. days. And you see a Tesla or you see... Commercial out of Tesla, be like, wow. Or this any car that runs on... Totally uh, electricity and be like oh this will literally save me more money and actually help me in future plans and help me um, manage my financial yeah commercial service. ads is very very Essential. important irrespective of how he's saying we're, they're going to be happy without their being yeah, i get his point it's like it's, if this is the only thing you see yeah, you'll be contented it. but because that's not how life is why in 21st century things are Aside revolving being 21st century before 21st century things are evolving yeah because man as we are we are we will always want more Definitely. irrespective of you being oh this is you always want to be like i've been i've been thought about why man was like what is the up here well how is this song how is they this more? we we'll always be curious we always want we to always know we always want to know more we always mm -hmm. feel like when you are using this for a long time be like you are tired and um, sometimes is you there, get tired of way, something even before for you to, seeing yeah. something else. Is there a way for me to make this better that it won't be slow? My laptop. Is there a way to make this mic sound better that it won't be sounding this and way? Even before now, just like when it comes to transportation, yeah. when people are using camera, when you are walking, then so okay, let's use the animals they were using camera, yeah. then horses and stuff like that. Like, is there a way to make it easier than it brought a bicycle? That is how. So, this man will revolve so, so even if that ad or anything you definitely want something else you definitely get tired of your situation you want to get something better this this despite being a man or a woman talking about your spouse but it's being in materialistic points of view we definitely want something else without even looking at ads or something that's it's true just, that's how it is let's keep watching guys in such a way that you want it. So sometimes your money you are saving, saving, saving to buy a house. But instead of buying your house, you saw something else, you took some money from there and bought it. But that was not necessary. Why? You saw the advert. Better you didn't see the adverts. Allahu Akbar. So I hope I have explained the issue of the dress code. Of something like a TV or commercial. Then you took money from your car and TV. go buy a TV. That's irrespective of it being an ad that display for you to see. If you really within your heart, you have the mind like, this is my dream. This is what I want. Yeah. Even as better the ad that has been popped out, you will still go get what you want. True. So the ad did not disrupt you from it's, buying what you want. Yes, it's your needs. Someone will see the ad. This is what I want. 
person see the TV. Oh, this mm-hmm. is with the TV I want. I need to get it. Someone who contentment has nothing to do with you seeing ad of TV. Whereas you want to buy your car, you went to go and buy the TV. Contented is being. I have this bottle of water. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I don't need to go and get another bottle of water to feel satisfied. But having a bottle of water and also I want TV, so when I'm drinking my water, I'm, I'm watching, watching TV. something. It's good. Yeah, that is a, that is a whole different situation. Yeah, I have this bottle of water. Uh, no, let me get to another one again. I'm not contented. This is not enough for me. Yeah, but I as understand. a man, as we are on eight, this bottle of water is nice. Oh. They see spring water. It is good. You, you get. But can this be better? You are contented with what you have, but you want to get evolve. something. Else. You want to, something better. Yeah, that's that doesn't true. mean you are not contented. It's life. It's how man is. That is how we grow. So, something is getting the contentment. It beats. It's like, just like wait. It's just like the iPhone. When you see yeah. at this time it was iPhone four. S that was really, really yeah. let me say presently now 14 pro max is the highest let me say because your iphone 4s is okay doesn't mean that you won't have any intentions or any needs to get maybe um a 13 pro max or a 12 pro max yeah. not just because is what everybody's using first of all it has a better camera secondly yeah. the iso everything works faster and there's so many apps you cannot download with it for 4x yeah. so you wanting to get a 13 pro mass a 14 pro mass as long as you can afford it does not mean they are not contented with the 4x you are using it's because things are revolving there are things you cannot do with that 4x that uh, let me just say if you are um someone that will say close you can there's some pictures you can take with that phone true but if you're taking pictures with your 13 pro mass or your 14 pro mass you get a clearer picture for your and business. you say your goods faster. so this is not about you being not contented with what you have this is about you evolving Growing and moving forward from where what you are exactly to where you want to become yeah. so that is just it let's keep watching guys women from a logical point of view to say when something is covered even from a more logical point of view, it is more respectful. I tell you, if there are two sisters walking down the street, one has a mini skirt and, you know, showing the chest and showing her hair and here is short blouse and the other one is fully covered. Young boys, who are they going to whistle at? Who are they going to do that to? They will trouble. Hey, <clears throat> who are they will come hoot, make noise. With who? This one or that one? The one who is not dressed properly. One who is dressed properly, they won't try it, all that tricks. So all the people, they are either my sister, my daughter, my wife, or my mother. Jesus made an example um, in Matthew. He was like, if there was a parable, this man has two sons. Mm. One is very loyal and obedient. They sent him to go get something. You understand? So the father left that one. He met the other one who he's very stubborn and he might not get it. Then he told his father that he might get it, he might not get it. He uh, said he, sure. won't, he, he won't get he it. Won't go. So the other one who said he won't go was went to get a job. But what is in your heart matters more because yeah. Jesus was talking about it in the Bible. Like that was what he was preaching about. That it's not about your outwardness, your appearance. Because a lot of people try to act decent decent I'm, I'm not See, this is bible, bible not called those people who are good for people outside and they are bad inside hypocrites and this my speaking like this is not basically directed to um people wearing hijab no 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 i i, I didn't mm. i'm not seeing anything bad about people wearing hijab. at all i feel is it, it's your is own choice. perception is your but religion. What, what, what i'm saying wrong is you seeing another person who's not wearing not hijab as um, as you are holier than them or, or you will go to heaven before exactly. them exactly or looking at them like oh they are not keeping what have been said for them to keep i just feel when it comes to modesty when it comes to being um holy is more than just your outwardness yeah people can really dress so modest people can act modest people can look modest but like i have some people on my whatsapp that yeah. post a lot of things about religious stuff stuff like that but when i come in contact with them the energy they give me and what they post online are two different things like 
some people act all holier than thou but when you meet them like that's not how they that's not how they look per se but yeah this is just who you are basically this is how you portray yourself to everybody but yeah. being with you in the same room speaking with you that holier than thou attitude different. is not what you're portraying you see, to me what jesus said in the bible in matthew it was like when you are fasting make sure you wash your face and let no one know you are fasting exactly people don't have to know who you are on the outside oh you're coming you are really good you're really good oh it's a perfect person the perfect person you are displaying what you want people to see yeah Whoa. are you who you are saying outside to be that is what matters true if you are displaying who they are than thou outside it should be the same thing inside inside so the hijab itself is good accepted everywhere by me i love people who cover themselves properly Definitely. should be told but if you are not decent within yourself not because your parents are watching you or because people are watching you or people <laughs> are going to criticize you yeah you are not decent within you you are doing because of what people are seeing is hijab is not forced At should all. be told but if you yourself don't have a good heart of a love towards another person and you are judging another person by what they themselves are wearing then i don't feel like you should wear the hijab itself True. you have to have a good heart in you so when you are displaying the hijab people will want to be like i want to be like this girl yeah i love her. she's good I, in and out in and out i love her dressing oh wow she's beautiful i love how she talks i love her attitude i want to be like her you get yeah not just wearing the hijab sure you get that is just my own point of all he's saying right there yeah. i'm not saying hijab is not good oh, but if you are wearing hijab and you're not you're not righteous within you you don't follow your quran you don't pray five times a day you don't fast during ramadan then who are you trying to impress or who are you trying to like be to see like who are you keeping up that appearance for so that is just it Let's keep watching guys and see what more you have to offer. Your sister, your daughter, your wife or your mother or someone related to you. So in the same way, you don't want someone to play and tamper with your sister, your wife, your mother and so on. You would not like also to do the same with somebody else's sister or wife or daughter or mother. Very important for us to know. Like I said, there are rules. What you like for yourself, you don't Definitely. bump into somebody else. I want to do to someone else, but I don't want them to do to my family. How? We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us protection. This issue of, you know, women wearing jeans and t-shirts and so on and taking out their, oh, showing their hair, it only started a few decades ago. Before that, in the whole world, it was not there. You know, the Victorian era in Europe, the women used to wear long dresses. Right now, 1950s, long dresses to the bottom, never showing their legs, ne not even showing part of their legs. And they used to wear a big hat like this with a net. The hat used to have a net around it. They used to wear that up to recently. And only now a few decades it started. So we, we still want to preserve our way. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us goodness. We don't trample on other people's feet and we hope that they don't trample on our feet in the same way that the, the, the secular world considers it oppression. Yes, the secular world considers it oppression. To force someone to wear hijab, we say it is oppression to force someone to remove hijab. Same thing. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open our doors. With this I end saying, Jazakumullahu khaira wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Like, share, and subscribe. To he made some points which are good. Um, which are nice but there's some more points he didn't clarify it properly um he made the muslims right there feel important of their religion yeah of when hijab and that's true but he didn't for that talk to them about what the hijab actually stand for and that's what true you shouldn't just wear it because you want people to see you as a holy person or someone who is like Modern. mary you should wear it because you represent Mary within your heart and also outside. So he made some uh, amazing points, right? See, uh, Muslims, you guys are really amazing. Um, whenever I hear your um, 
or is it cynical? The recitations, I show some respect to you people. You guys are really, really good. Um, the recitation, what you guys are reciting, it's it's amazing. It's very tortured, should be told. But there is a question I want to ask um, you guys. It have always been in my heart. Something that is the something like is making me feel like Muslim and Christian are totally different because we're totally different. That question is that is the reason. One of the reasons. Let me just say that is the reason. One of the reasons I, uh, I will never accept Islam because. I made my research about you people. You, you guys say make more research, make more research. I made more research. I find out like there is something called Kaaba, which is um, in Mecca where you guys go to pray. I mean, okay, Mecca is in Saudi Arabia where you guys go and pray. Said so the Kaaba was first white, came from heaven, then it takes away people's sin, then it turns black. That's I don't accept or. I'm just I don't accept you. Yeah, you guys who accept it, I don't understand it. Because um me as a Christian, I believe Jesus Christ has paid the price for me on the cross of Calvary. I don't need to touch um something and um objects to, to take, take away sins. Sin. Because the time of um Moses and also Abraham they they killed animals to uh, appease God for their sins. So if you can clarify that for me, because that's I see much difference. The difference between you guys and us is way far than where this microphone is time. Very, very high. Mm. Because if you guys believe a stone takes away sins, and you guys don't believe in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, it's two different two different things and I will never accept it. If you can clarify it, please comment down below. Clarify that point of mine. It's really mean a lot. I heard um, most Muslims. You all don't have to go to Mecca to pray. Is if you can, if you can afford it, then you travel during Ramadan period and do, during the fast and pray. You go over mm -hmm. there. You guys are amazing. You guys are good. I uh, love your recitations I your teachings really are amazing it. but there's some certain things which i will never accept about your religion which number one is that stone that was um, identified if you can explain more for me give me more understanding about understanding it. about how, how it is and if you guys truly believe it takes away your sins and stuff and how it came about say if it came from heaven i don't know who saw it first what do you think and um, I feel when it comes to the video, I've said our point of view about it. Uh, but I have a question, like, uh, when I go through my comment session, sometimes I get comments like, cover your hair. Um, you're checking out the Muslim video, cover your hair. And um, I want to ask if, um, because of the fact, you see, I'm a Christian. Because of the fact I'm checking out the Muslim video, um, is it imposed on me or is it a composed written because i'm checking out your own video to cover my hair because it's kind of contradicting to the fact that um covering your hair is their choice the muslim women choose to cover their hair definitely because it's their religion but when you guys comment on my video and tell me to cover my hair is that you making it my own um free we or you imposing your belief on me that is literally all, all i have to say this was an amazing video comment below what you think about this video give us a thumbs up share this video to as many as you can subscribe to youtube channel guys we'll see you guys in our next video make sure you stay safe i just bought a bag like an old lady i'm back wood smoking i don't own papers pass that 808 that don't don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitch, in my bed 